listen to local radio during your commute, chances are you've heard the JV show on Wild 94.9 and the vote, the voice of host Jeffrey Vandergrift. He vanished in February and today we learned he is dead. JV's body was found in the water at Pier 39 yesterday and earlier this month. His wife released a statement saying she had evidence that JV wasn't coming home. Now, friends and fans have been leaving tributes to him outside of the 949 building. Andrea Nakano spoke to some longtime listeners who say they were hoping that somehow JV's story would have ended a different way. Andrea. That's right, Juliet. Those we spoke with tonight say, however small it was, they were hoping that he would be back alive and with his family again. But now with the discovery of the body, they know that the man that brightened up their mornings every day will not be seen again. JV Show on Wild 94.9. JV started on the Bay Area Airwaves about three decades ago, first as a co-host of The Doghouse and most recently on his own JV Show. Listening to The JV Show was kind of like a religious activity for me. It just made my mornings. Hector stopped by the growing memorial for JV outside the Wild 94.9 studios on Thursday. He used to make regular appearances on the show as a longtime listener and will never forget the impact the radio host had on his life. There was nobody that could really, you know, even when you were going through like the worst of worst times, there was nobody who could really just kind of make you laugh through those moments the way he could. Jeffrey Vandergriff went missing just about a month ago after hosting his show. He had shared with listeners how he struggled with Lyme disease, saying he can handle the physical pain, but not the mental toll it's taken on his body. It's crazy like how such a beautiful person has left this world. Carlos Avila used to work with JV starting in the early 2000s. It was difficult for him to put into words what this loss means to him. I love you, brother, you know, and you're always going to be in my heart, and the JV show will always be on Wild 949. Many wish they could have done something to help, some way to pay JV back for getting them through their hard times. Oh, wherever he is, you know, I just hope he knows, you know, we'll, we all love him. We'll always continue to love him and he'll be definitely greatly missed by all of us out here. Andrea, those are some beautiful comments from from people, loyal fans. Um, what are authorities saying about the cause of death? Well, all San Francisco police would say is that they do not suspect foul play in this case, and they have turned the body over to the medical examiner's office. Now, JV's employer, Wild 94.9, released a statement today as well, and they said that they're just asking people to put Natasha, his co-host and wife, in their thoughts and for the rest of the family as well. Yeah, Juliet. our thoughts do go out to her family. Thank you for telling that story, Andrea. Appreciate it. All right, before his disappearance, JV was very open about his battle with Lyme disease. He he started having debilitating symptoms in early 2021, including brain fog and even pain in his head, depression and anxiety, something he said he had never struggled with before. Deer ticks carry the bacteria that causes Lyme. It can cause symptoms like fever, headache, fatigue. For some, the first sign is red round bullseye rash. Infection can spread to joints, the heart, the nervous system if it's not treated. JV worked with the Bay Area Lyme Foundation to help other people with chronic Lyme disease. He wanted to spread the awareness about what he was dealing with and be very open with it. Um, ask us, you know, to be on the show with him. But a lot of people will hide the fact that they have Lyme disease and then they'll suffer alone. And that was one of the great things about him is, no, he wanted to help others so that they would be diagnosed early. And they could think, is he used to say, is it Lyme disease? You have to think about it. If you're having some of these symptoms, it could be Lyme. UCSF will actually start doing clinical trials for a Lyme disease treatment thanks to a $1 million donation from the Bay Area Lyme Foundation.